friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 27th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your world update, as well as space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the sun for the past 48 hours, as we've had multiple M-class solar flares throughout the day today making that about eight M-class solar flares over the past two days. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming imagery, cresting into view, some plasma ropes spinning around the surface, prominence building there, cresting into view, and as well, bright, fiery sunspot region producing M-class solar flares. So we do have coronal mass ejections heading our way. This is the last 48 hours outgoing. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide pointing out the most active regions the last two days. Pretty cool stuff here. Large plasma filament ejecting from the northeast region of the sun and as well big plasma filament in the southern pole region of the sun and multiple M-class solar flares. We do have a departing coronal hole. And look at all that activity during those in between those sunspot regions. Coronal hole is building there as well. 171 angstroms here as we are observing nine sunspot regions that are earth phasing. And these two sunspot regions groupings are the most active and are producing the M-class solar flares. Look at that. Five sunspot regions just on that left-hand side. Look at those sunspot regions in motion. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight, pressing play, and being a part of this channel. Current space weather conditions, we are now at R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. As well, our solar winds are coming in at 403 kilometers per second, slightly above average. Solar X-ray flux, four M-class solar flares throughout the day today. Six over the last two days. So correction, six, not eight M-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity did hop up to KP5 just a couple nights ago, as predicted and forecasted here with daily events wide. Thanks to NOAA and NASA and all of their space weather prediction apps, as they are pretty accurate here showing all of the most recent CMEs taking off from the sun. As you can see, they're all coming our way. And as well, away from us. So minor geomagnetic instability is expected towards the end of the month, the 30th into the 31st. Most recent CME here being projected with the ISWA. Little yellow circle on the right-hand side is Earth. Look at all that cosmic energy heading our way for the first week of August. Solar Cycle 25 is definitely putting on a show so far. Look at that large CME taking off on the 23rd. It's showing the last four days as we've had multiple Earth-facing coronal mass ejections. And those are pretty much explosions from either plasma filament eruptions, solar flares. Amazing images here. Watching into the 26th and then the 27th today. Boom. One there, another one. Wow. Now let's have a look at earthquakes from around the world. Starting on here with our deepest earthquake, Japan, Izu Islands region, coming in at 466 kilometer depth. Notable earthquake there, south of Taiwan, Hengshun. Multiple landslides being reported there, over 100 landslides actually. Typhoon Agami definitely ravaging Taiwan and China. Interesting earthquakes here in Hermley, Texas, 4.5 throughout the day today. Yesterday, reporting a 5.1. Hengshun, 
heavily fracked region of Texas. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours. Platanilo, Mexico, 5.3 magnitude earthquake. Notable there, 4.8, 4.5 through Guatemala and 4.3 there, Colombia. Dominican Republic, Gonzalo, reporting a 4.2 magnitude earthquake. Quiet through South America, 5.3 magnitude here, South Georgia Island, Scotia Plate. Normally they're along the South Sandwich Islands. That's an interesting one. A couple earthquakes here, Sudan as well, Tokar, 4.2 and 4.7 magnitude earthquake, 4.6 there in the middle of the Mediterranean towards Greece. As well, a minor 4.1 reported at Svalbard, the North Pole. Having a look here, showing the last seven days for shakers around the world. Interesting and notable activity through Texas. And as well, the African and Arabian plate. And of course, the earthquake swarm that occurred at Hawaii all of a sudden has gone quiet. So watch for something to brew again there and towards the Pacific Northwest. Or northeast of the the ring of fire now let's have a look at our so2 forecast brought to you by our erupting volcanoes around the world and as well the wildfires burning across our planet so 30 percent of jasper has burnt down thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there affected thoughts and prayers to everybody across canada being smoked out by these wildfires there have been no new volcanic eruptions here showing massive sulfur dioxide emissions. Nothing new over the last couple days. Sizable eruption at Merapi through Indonesia. Other than that, no new volcanoes awakening. Just lots of fires ravaging Central Africa, Central South America, and as well, of course, Canada. United States and up into the Northwest Territories. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast as Typhoon Gami has made landfall through China. Lots of rain and strong winds associated. It's going to maintain its center of low strength heading towards North Korea and Eastern Russia for the long range. No typhoons or super typhoons here developing or forecast coming into the next month of august having a look here over north america low pressure system heading across the hudson bay set to bring waves of moisture and extreme heat will be prevalent throughout north america all week long as we are in the height of summer and it should be very warm so stay coolio out there and watch for daily evaporation storms especially towards the end of the month pretty strong system here raking across the eastern seaboard and possible hurricane developing for Miami and the Carolina states for the long range. So stay tuned as these forecasts do and can change quickly. Overlooking Europe and Africa, low pressure center here. South of Iceland will eventually start making landfall through the United Kingdom and Ireland. But not until the long range forecast Having a look here at satellite imagery showing all of the smoke and the fires that are burning across Northern California and as well through Oregon. Last I heard, there were 950 fires across Canada being reported, over 1,200 being reported across North American soil. Canada confirming just a few days ago that almost 18 million hectares of land was burned across Canada. And we've burned about 6 million hectares so far. Not us ourselves, but these wildfires are ravaging across Northern California, right up the Pacific Northwest and into Canada. The Rocky Mountains under a lot of stress. We've also got a pretty big dust storm here that is forming and will be sweeping across the central Atlantic. 
And again, no new hurricanes or forecast. Slight disturbance there in the Central Atlantic. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.